friends welcome to another video my name is ryan roots and myself my wonderful wife allison and our good friend callie the three of us run an online business where we buy stuff and then we sell stuff online for a profit and one of the main places we sell is ebay and in today's video i just want to go through and give you literally 200 plus items that you can go and take and sell on ebay for a profit and this isn't going to be theory so a lot of times like with with reselling you can go and watch a lot of videos and you have all this knowledge and you can kind of like you can kind of teach about the knowledge but until you actually go and do it yourself it's it's kind of hard to teach the real principles about selling stuff on ebay so instead of just spurting out information and saying stuff that you know may or may not be true what i'm going to do is i'm going to jump over to our ebay store this is the store that we make public on youtube it's it's called the hip lion i'll link it in the description of today's video if you want to go and check it out i'm going to jump over into our 90 day sales on ebay and i'm just going to go through literally everything. It'll end up being over 200 items that we've sold on eBay ourselves within the last 90 days for a total of over $30,000 in gross sales. And by the way, I know that number right there, $30,000, it might be impressive to some people. It might not be impressive at all to some people. In reality, it's only $10,000 a month and that's gross. So that's before our cost of goods, our eBay fees and everything else. So take that into account. We sell on other platforms as well. We make money in other ways. We sell on whatnot. We have a mental mentoring group, which by the way, our mentoring group is open. I highly suggest if you want training on how to be a profitable reseller, or even just like a friendly group of other resellers to hang out with and learn from, our group is open. Just go to rallyroots.com and you can join the group. We have hundreds of resellers in that group from beginners to very advanced resellers. And I guarantee you it's worth the very minimal investment that it costs to join the group. But outside of that, this video is totally free. You don't have to pay us anything to watch this video. All that I ask is is if you, if you find any value from today's video, please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button on the video and feel free to leave a comment. Feel free to share the video. I'm taking hours out of my day to make this video and to share our bolos, be on the lookout for our stuff that has sold on eBay. This is stuff that has sold for us within the last 90 days. So hopefully you can pick up some ideas of what to be on the lookout for. And that's, that's my spiel. Without further ado, let's jump over and I'm gonna go through these one item at a time. And I'm gonna start with the least expensive item that's sold all the way up to the most expensive item that's sold. So as you can see, I'm in the back end of our personal eBay store. These are all actual sales that we've had within the last 90 days. And we're gonna start with the smallest sale, which you may have seen in a recent video. This one, we I basically just gave away. I'll link the reason why they only paid a dollar for it. I'll link the video. It's one of my Car Chronicles videos, but yeah, this one sold for a dollar. Next up, a little Omega watch hat, nice little strap back hat, and it sold for $15. Next, we have a little Walt Disney pullover. It had a big stain on it, and that sold for $15 as well. This is a return, so I guess you can't really count this one. For $17, we sold a vintage Walt Disney World little porcelain skunk Under Armour The Rock. Project Rock. This t-shirt sold for $18.07. Next up, a little pair of Keen, another good brand to be on the lookout for. This pair sold for $10.95 plus shipping, so a total of $20.30. We sold this Nintendo video game here for roughly $20, a little uh, Super Mario Land game, just the game by itself, sold for $19.88. This is a vintage Seaway fly fishing vest. We got this at a estate sale for $5 and it sold for $20. A pair of Ugg sweatpants, Ugg brand women's sweatpants, those sold for 20 bucks. Some L.L. Bean duck boots. We had these for a while. We relisted them and they sold for $13 plus shipping. Again, another pair of Keen Woman's Sandals sold for $21.50. Another great brand, Hey Dude. The Hey Dudes sold pretty quick and they sold for $22. Affliction t-shirts are still selling pretty well for us. Here's this one, little Freedom Defender made in the USA, and that shirt sold for 22 bucks. Hoka One One, like the shoes, but this is a hat, a little like folding in the middle hat, and it sold for $21.97. One thing you may notice about this I just saw is I put pickleball in the title because I've been playing a lot of pickleball lately and I figure people are searching for that and it would be a good pickleball hat. So I put that in the title and it sold for 22 bucks. Little Nintendo Switch Pokemon game, just the game by itself there. And well, in the little case, but the game sold for $23. For $23 as well, we've got a lot of vintage doilies, crochet flowers doilies. Allie picked these up. 
uh, I think at the bins actually, and she got 23 bucks for them. Little Lily Pulitzer dress, girl's dress, sold for $25. Men's Lululemon shirts. I think I was going to keep this one, but it was a bit big for me. Yeah, size 2XL. Got it at the thrift store and it sold for $24. Here's a knife. This is from a lot of knives that we got back in the day and this particular one sold for $23.80. This was from a garage sale. I think we pay like a dollar for it. Little vintage Oshkosh Bigosh hat and it sold for right around $24. Yeah, $23.90. This I purchased in a wholesale lot, little Lucky brand. It was new with tags, which is pretty cool. Had a retail price tag of $49.50 on it, and it sold for half of that. It sold for $25. Some Athleta brand pants that we got from the Goodwill bins, and they sold for $25. So we probably paid about a dollar for those. Sold for $25. Next, we have a pair of True Religion jeans. True Religion red jeans with that classic horseshoe back there and it sold for 25 bucks. We have a pair of men's Lululemon shorts, and these sold for $25. I actually bought these on Whatnot for myself. I think I paid like $8 for them. They didn't fit, so I sold them for a profit on eBay for 25 bucks. We've got a lot of two HP ink together, and they sold for $25. That was another yard sale purchase for, I think, two bucks. A little vintage Tommy Hilfiger, a brand that we don't really buy that much anymore but this particular pullover sold for 25 bucks. Ufos brand comfort shoes. These sell great for us still. They're not worth as much as they used to be, uh, but this pair still sold for $18 plus shipping, so $27.49. We've got a Walt Disney World Mickey Pride t-shirt, and it sold for $27. Sometimes it's good to lot stuff together, like this lot of Tesla shirts all together, all three of them together. Sold for 27 bucks. This was a yard sale find, little Starbucks tumbler from 2022, and that sold for $27. Some more knives sold for 28 bucks. This was a great purchase that Allie found. I think she paid a dollar or two dollars for it. You've got the Wacky Races. This is for one single pillowcase, and it sold for $30. Next, we have a Patagonia fleece, little like half zip fleece sweater. And that sold for $31. This was another whatnot buy. I think I paid 10 bucks for it. Some more shoes, some Asics Gel Nusa Tri 10. And they sold for $29. Was there shipping as well? Nope, just 29 bucks. We've got a pair of Adidas Women's Court 2.0 sneakers. And those sold for us for $19 plus shipping. So $31.05. Another pair of Athleta. These were like Sculptec jeans. And they sold for $29. Another Lululemon item. We've got a men's polo. This was a size extra large. Nice little polo. Thrifted for sure. And sold that for $29. We probably paid like 5 bucks for this one. Here's a good brand some of you may not know. Filson. Filson Golf Shorts with these. And it sold for $29. If you can find this brand, Filson, some of them are worth a ton of money. This was a yard sale purchase. A pair of Skechers Concept Shoes. And they sold for $22.50 plus shipping. So $31.79 total. Another pack of ink that sold for $30. We've got Allie modeling this item, a little vintage Miss Rodeo America shirt. Uh, these we got at a yard sale. We got a whole bunch of these. You'll see more of these coming up, but this particular one sold for $30. A pair of Allen Edmonds dress shoes. Nice little pair of dress shoes, and they sold for $32. Here we have some Starbucks tumblers, sold two of them together for $33. Sometimes it's good to lot stuff together to get a little bit of a higher average sales price. So those together sold for $33. My personal chubbies. <laughs> I wore these for St. Patrick's Day, and then I sold them a couple years later, and they sold for $35. This was a new brand for us. We got them at a thrift store, Kemper camper like minimalist shoes pretty nice shoes and again 35 bucks austin city limits hats we sell a lot of hats and acl hats seem to sell great for us this particular one we got at a yard sale for a dollar and it sold for 34 dollars and 87 cents nice sort of like striped blazer it was new with tags which is good very like beetlejuice vibes on that and it sold for 35 dollars here's Allie all dressed up again in her kenny rogers western shirt looking good and sold for $36. Some Reebok CrossFit shoes. These used to sell for a lot more for us. Uh, they sometimes still sell depending on the color and the size. So this pair sold for $38.87. Miss Moo's leather ankle boots. Nice pair of boots. Little damage on the back heel there. 
They sold for $35.88. We've got a pair of vintage Tommy Hilfiger jeans. I believe I got these at a flea market. Yeah, flea market for $8 and they sold for $37. Vibram Five Finger Shoes. These still sell really well for us. If we can pick them up for under 10 bucks, I almost always grab them. And this pair sold for $37.75. Pendleton, another brand to always be on the lookout for. This wool plaid Pendleton shirt sold for us for $37. This Estee Lauder factory sealed perfume Ali found at a garage sale for 50 cents and it sold for $37. Ghost BC, this was a band shirt that I had no idea. I just liked the graphic, so I bought it from a thrift store, 2013, and it sold for $36.80. We have a vintage Wrangler short sleeve, nice pattern on this one, and sold for 38 bucks. A little headband here, this was in one of the Amazon boxes that we got, and it sold for $38.22. Another Pendleton wool plaid shirt nice one sold for $37.97 this is a nike pullover actually this was canceled so we can't count that one this is a vintage 90s the storm this was actually a really cool graphic i thought it was cool for how cool this graphic is i'm surprised it didn't sell for more money but got $37.50 for it under armor tactical boots $38.61 for this pair not a whole ton of money but still a good sale so the masters were coming up and this little v-neck with the little Masters logo on it, sold for $38.97. OnCloud, great brand to be on the lookout for, sold for $40 for this pair of like white, women's white OnCloud shoes. Another like teal Patagonia snap tee pullover here, this one sold for $39. Allie found these Cow Parade little porcelain figurines, I think she paid a dollar a piece at a yard sale and they sold for $39.40. Another alley find on the candelabras, little, little wooden candelabras here, nice ones, and they sold for $39.97. We have an Adidas Orlando Magic long sleeve, like jersey, sweater jersey thing. This was new at tags, and it sold for 40 bucks. This was a flea market find, new at tags, Cubics, 2001 kids shirts kid size shirts and it sold for forty dollars another pendleton wool shirt sold for forty one dollars a really cool vintage columbia sportswear like windbreaker jacket sold for forty dollars some converse old larry johnson basketball sneakers pretty cool looking those sold for forty dollars ninety six cents a little vintage polo hat this i picked up for like a dollar at a garage sale and it sold for $45 on eBay. This was another garage sale find for, I think, $3 untested vintage Sinclair personal computer, and it sold for $42. We've got Ally this time in a Rock Mount Ranch Wear Pearl Snap, looking nice. And that sold for $42.87. Here's another lot together, two vintage Ferrari polos together and they sold for $43.90. Allie again in a different Rock Mount Ranch wear. I think we paid about five bucks a piece for these at a garage sale and this one sold for $44.87. Pendleton again for $47.97. We've got a vintage Dooney Burke purse that sold for $45. This is one piece of that lathe buyout that we did for $200 and this one single piece sold for 45 bucks. You'll see more about these coming up when the prices get higher. Another pair of Skechers Concepts from that garage sale for $45.64. We have a pair of Page Women's Jeans. They came out of an Amazon box that we bought and they sold for $48.87. A Steinbach Nutcracker that Ali picked up at a yard sale for about a dollar and it sold for $45. We've got a Beretta hunting vest that I picked up at a thrift store for $7, and it sold on eBay for $49.19. This was a bins find that Ali got in Colorado, and so we probably paid like $2 for it, and it sold for 45 bucks. This was a yard sale find, little Star Trek replica phaser. Paid up for it. I think we paid like 20 bucks for it. Sold for $46. Nike SB Shane O'Neill shoes sold for $48. This one's cool. We picked it up at a yard sale. We've got an Indiana Jones 2008 fedora. 
think we paid $5-ish for it. Sold for $47.87. Another HP Ink cartridge. This time it sold for $47.87. This t-shirt was another flea market find. Paid about a dollar for it and it sold for $47.87. This was a Goodwill find for $8. Chinatown Market hoodie and it sold for $47. Yard sale find for a dollar. We got the little Birkenstock strappy sandals and they sold for $48.50. Allie found these at like a church sale altogether, some Victorian trading company dolls and they sold for $50. I want to say she paid about five bucks for them. Another Goodwill find, I think I paid five or eight dollars for it and it sold for 50 bucks. A little Moreno glass and then speaking of vases, You've got the Viking Swung Vase that sold for $50. That was $8 at a yard sale. Next, we have a Kachina doll that was damaged on the side here. Allie bought this one from a Goodwill. And I think she paid, I want to say she paid like $5, $5 for it, sold for 50 bucks. We have a St. John Sport Essentials sweater that I got from Goodwill for $8. And it sold for $43 plus shipping. $54.36. Some Columbia boots that I think Allie kept these out of a wholesale lot. She wore them and didn't like the way that they fit. So she sold them on eBay for $54.87. Speaking of Allie, here she is in a Barefoot Dreams Disney Frozen robe, modeling it nicely. And that sold for $50. Another garage sale buy. We paid five bucks for this pair of Noble shoes. Great brand to be on the lookout for. And they sold for $55. This vintage 1985 Super Bowl shirt sold for $52.97. I'm not sure how to pronounce this brand, Harajuki. Let's go with that. Ali found this one at a yard sale in Colorado and it sold for $30 plus shipping, so 36 bucks total. We have a nice pair of Carhartt boots that sold for $57. And then another Ali find, little Toki Doki like duffel purse thingy. And that sold for $52. Another pair of OnCloud shoes. I think I paid $20 for these at a flea market. Actually, these might have been out of the wholesale buy that I did with my buddy. But either way, they sold for $58. Dale of Norway sweater. This one was from a Goodwill. Right as I was walking out of the store, I noticed this. And I bought it for, I think, $8.00 and it sold for 59 bucks. Next up is an Arcteryx short sleeve shirt, and it sold for $56.19. This was a Goodwill purchase when we were out in New York. You've got a little L.L. Bean Buffalo plaid shirt jacket, and it sold for $55.28. Another Goodwill find, some Nike throwback pants that I found hanging on the rack as they came out at the Goodwill and they sold for $63. Baggy jeans are all the rage, and this pair of 90s Tommy Hilfiger baggy jeans sold for $58.87. Another good brand, Dixon. This was found at a Goodwill. Was it a Goodwill? It might have been an ARC thrift store, actually, in Colorado, and it sold for $60. We've got an 80s Wilson Snap Button Braves jacket, size large, and that one sold for $61.53. This was a flea market find, a Solomon pants, size small, and we paid $5 for them. They sold for $67.05. Another bundle up on some Starbucks tumblers, sold for $62.31. This Juice World hoodie, RIP Juice, this I found at a Goodwill for $8, and it sold for $63. This Gears of War 2 hoodie just sold today, actually. Cool graphic on the back, 2009, I believe, or 2008, actually but it sold for $63 and I bought it at Goodwill in New York for eight bucks. A pair of Solomon boots, I just got these recently at a Goodwill, size 15, and they sold for $65. Pair of Fall Riven, Fall Riven, I don't know how to say this brand, but <laughs> little boy's pants sold for $60. Vintage 90s Polo Sport Ralph Lauren jacket. This was at a Goodwill and I paid up on it. I wanna say I paid like 15 bucks for this jacket. Sold for $65. Starting to get a little higher in price here. We got vintage chalkware ceramic Easter bunnies that Allie bought. Probably paid like 50 cents to a dollar for all of them. And they sold for 65 bucks. This I thrifted recently. It's a Tommy Bahama men's polo shirt with Mickey Mouse embroidery on it. Brand new with tags. And I sold it for $70. We've got a pair of Ray-Ban tortoise frames and they sold for $68. Another pair of True Religion jeans sold for $68.87. This one was cool, got it at uh, auction, three ducks, <laughs> a lot of three ducks from an auction 
and they sold together for $70. This pair of vintage Artcraft Cat Eye glasses, Ali bought at a yard sale for a couple bucks, and they sold for $69.94. A pair of Vince shoes, men's Vince shoes, got them at a thrift store, and they sold for $78.82. These are still selling well for us. We've got the vintage Izod Lacoste cardigan, and this one sold for $34.99. By the way, you might notice sometimes the prices will be lower, even though I am going in order from lowest price to highest price. That's probably because this one sold through international shipping. So plus shipping and fees and everything, they probably ended up paying more than $78.82. This was from an estate sale. I think we paid like 10 bucks for it and it sold for $75. Here's another pair of the shoes that I got recently from the Goodwill and this pair sold for 60 bucks. Nice little vintage 80s U2 shirt, sold for $79. This was a $1 garage sale find, had some damage on it right there, and it sold for $77.67. Some foam posits, Nike foam posits, sold for 65 bucks. We've got a pair of Salvatore Ferragamo men's shoes, just some like plain black men's shoes and those sold for $89.88. We are very quickly approaching that $100 mark now, and there's still a lot of items left, guys, a lot of items left. We've got a modern refrigeration air conditioning book that sold for $99.90. This is a lot of bare premium floor coating wet look sealer. Got this at an estate sale. I think we paid like $8 for both of them, and they sold for $79.20 plus shipping. So the buyer paid $101.60 for those two. Here's a vintage 80s Harley Davidson shirt that sold for $80. This was another Colorado pickup. Nice wool rich jacket that sold for $95. This was from a wholesale lot. Little Jethro Tull Stormwatch shirt that sold for $100. These we had sitting in our warehouse for like three years. They never got listed. Ali finally was like, let's get them listed. And they sold quickly altogether for $98.87. This was another bins pull from Colorado, really cool blankets. And it sold for $99. We probably paid like $3 for that. American Girl dolls, we got a bunch of them at a garage sale, like three of them. And this one sold for $99.87. Nice little Can-Am motocross jersey. This came from a storage unit from a friend that I bought, and it sold for 100 bucks. Another vintage Harley shirt, 1985 3D emblem on this one, and also sold for $100. Here's another item that was sitting around our warehouse for a while. You've got the Discovery Toys Super Marble Works. And it sold for $69 plus shipping, so a total of $88.72. This was part of the lathe buyout that I got for $200 from the yard sale. And it sold for $100, just this one little piece sold for $100. This went international. We don't buy art often, but Allie just really liked the design of this one. And she was spot on, sold for $75 plus shipping international. This item was purchased and then canceled, so let's not count it. Here's a case knife. Case knife, bought this at a yard sale for $8. Really nice case, double X knife, and it sold for $110. Here's a pair of teaks. I bought five pairs of teaks for $100 for all five at a yard sale. And this one pair sold for 120 bucks. Vintage 80s Led Zeppelin Raglan, really cool one. And it sold for $115. The North Face backpack, this came out of an Amazon, one of those Amazon mystery boxes that we got. And this one sold for $122. Allie found this flip clock recently at a local Goodwill. And it sold for $125. Nice find, Allie. This is a really cool item. Got a vintage Peter Max, 80s Peter Max watch. And this was hanging out in the warehouse for a while as well. 1986 and it sold for $129. Here's another pair of those teaks from the same yard sale buy. This pair sold for $129.05. Really cool journey raglan with the back hit. That sold for $140. Nice, nice sale. Here's a quilt that we got for $30 bucks at a estate sale. We got a bunch of them. And this particular one sold for $130. This is cool. You got the Rain Spooner Grateful Dead button down. Really, really cool one. This came in a little wholesale lot that I purchased and this sold for $144.97. Next, we have a 1979 Jethro Tull shirt. Really cool graphic. This actually sold along with that other Jethro Tull shirt that I showed earlier, and this one sold for $135. Bucks. Another U2 1983 vintage t-shirt sold for $137.50. This Avenged Sevenfold hoodie I found at a Goodwill in New York 
paid eight dollars for it and it sold for 150 bucks. Here's another hoodie that I found at a local Goodwill here in Tampa, and it sold for $145. Again, I paid $8 for it. We have a vintage coach purse that sold for $142.08. Shout out that one lady that said that Goodwills never have coach purses. You're gonna see quite a few vintage coach purses in today's video. We sell them all the time. There's one that actually sold for almost $500. Oh no, it did sell for $500 that I bought at a Goodwill for 12 bucks. That's coming up, so stay tuned for that one. Okay, next up we have a LiftMaster keypad. Actually, this was canceled. It did sell again, um, but this particular one was canceled. So let's keep going. We have a vintage quilt. Again, paid $33 for these at a estate sale. And this one sold for 150 bucks. Tory Burch purse. This I bought at a flea market with a bunch of shoes. And I threw the bag in there. The bag sold for 150 bucks. Next, we have a Porsche design backpack that we got in an Amazon box that we bought. And it sold for $169. Here's a nice vintage Center Ice Penguins hockey jersey that I found at the thrift store for $5 and it sold for $160. Very cool 1984 Aerosmith shirt that sold for $165. Bucks. We've got a vintage Can-Am jersey. This came out of that same storage unit that I bought and it sold for $169. Here's the resale of that LiftMaster that sold for $165 this time around. I bought this at a flea market for $25. Vintage 1981 Rolling Stones Raglan sold for us on eBay for $175. We have a canceled order on the Jefferson Starship, so let's keep going down to the 1987 3D Emblem Harley-Davidson tank top. You don't see the tank tops very often, and this one sold for $175. Speaking of Harley, here's a 1986 Harley Davidson pocket shirt that sold for 150 bucks. This I also bought in New York. This is a Rocky Mountain Featherbed Rockabilly Western Wear shirt, and it sold for $190. I believe we paid like 15 bucks for this in New York. Here's a Bear Brand wetsuit that we got in an Amazon box again and it sold for $198.87. Another handmade quilt. You guys see we sell a lot of quilts and they, they sell well. This one wasn't even finished and it sold for 150 bucks. We have some Versace sunglasses, Versace, Versace, and this pair sold for $200. Another Rolling Stones Raglan. This one was on the Knits tag. XL and it sold for $200. Here's another garage sale purchase. I think we paid $25 for this nice little Black Forest cuckoo clock, new in the box, and it sold for $200. There's two of these because one was bought and then canceled and then I relisted it and it sold. This was my personal 1989 Dragon Ball shirt and it sold for $220. St. Laurent Paris men's sneakers. I think we thrifted these back in the day, and they sold for $219.88. Here we have another vintage Harley shirt. Nice fade on this one, size large, and this one sold for $225. I found this Dodgers jacket at an estate sale, and then I even modeled it. Check that out. And uh, took some pictures of it on the grass, and it sold for $125. This pair of Jinkos, you can actually see, they initially sold for $250, and then the order was canceled, thankfully, because later on in the video, you'll see they sold for $500. That's coming up. So I'm glad that person never paid or canceled that order. This Breeders shirt I bought in Colorado at a little buyout deal, and it sold for $200. Here's another vintage t-shirt. You got the Santana Michael Rio Seven Smiles graphic graphic and this one sold for $250. The monkey. So the monkey sold and then got returned and now it just sold again. It sold today for $250. So hopefully the person who gets it likes it and keeps it this time. This is a 1992 Cool World movie promo tee. 1992, really good one. This came from a friend of mine and it sold for $254. Here's another lot of parts that were with that Unimat lathe that I bought, everything for $200, and these sold together for $324, and there's still a lot more coming up from that one. Allie sold her childhood Nintendo Game Boy Pikachu game, and it sold for $315 with everything complete. She took this money and gave it to her mom. We're getting higher in price here for $325. This is a 90s, vintage 90s, Southwest Santa Fe style Carhartt jacket, sold fairly quickly 
for three twenty-five. Okay, we're on the second page now, and we have the David Bowie jacket. This was part of a buyout deal that I did, and it sold for three hundred and fifty-nine dollars. This was an eight-dollar estate sale find. You've got the fashioned by Jeanette Ferrara blanket wool Aztec jacket. And it sold for $375. This is a really cool Pink Floyd shirt. Unfortunately, it was dry rot. Had a little bit of dry rot. Obviously, that was mentioned in the description. And the buyer is still happy. It sold for $400. Another vintage t-shirt. You've got the 80s Iron Maiden Somewhere in Time shirt. That sold for $375. This was part of the big, big wholesale lot that I bought when I flew out to California for one day bought everything and then came back. This is an 80s Black Hill Rally t-shirt and it sold for $290. And another Harley t-shirt that sold for $300. One of my favorite shirts that we've sold recently, this is a Robin Williams, rest in peace Robin Williams. This shirt sold for $450. Another good vintage t-shirt, you got the 1994 Nine Inch Nails Long Sleeve that sold for $425. This vintage Grateful Dead Star Trek shirt, I actually bought this on Whatnot as well, and it sold for $450. So here's another piece of the lathe machines that sold. You got the Unimat, this is the actual machine, and I took an offer of 475 bucks on this one. And here's that vintage coach purse, ladies and gents. I bought it at Goodwill, and it sold, look at this thing, it sold for five hundred dollars nirvana 1992 come as you are t-shirt sold for five hundred and twenty dollars we've got another vintage harley t-shirt that sold for four hundred dollars another vintage harley t-shirt that sold for four hundred and fifty dollars those went to the same buyer and here's the jinkos again so these sold for five hundred dollars they initially sold for 250 the order was canceled and they sold again for 500 bucks. Here's the other lathe that sold. Again, I paid $200 for everything, all of the lathe stuff together at a yard sale. This one unit sold for $700. And then if you look down here, this was the rest of the parts. So all the little parts that I had no idea what they were for, I just put all together in a lot and they all sold together for $750. And then look at this jacket. You've got the vintage 90s Bill Elliott racing jacket, little Jeff Hamilton. This came out of a storage unit and it sold for $785. Two more items left. I pulled this out of my own personal collection. Beautiful Allison Chains facelift tour shirt size XL, and it sold for $800 very, very quickly. And then the biggest sale for us in the last 90 days, you have the vintage in utero Nirvana shirt. It had some flaws, but really nice one, size extra large, and it sold for $1,150. Whew, that was a lot to go through. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Again, I hope you picked up some good stuff from today's video. 200 plus items that we sold recently in the last 90 days on eBay for over $30,000 in total gross revenue. Thank you again for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them on today's video. And besides that, I love you all. I appreciate you. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Ryan Ritz. Later.